There's the 23 Lynx Shredder RE. This is the 850 Turbo R and the 3900 track length. 3900 is 154. So this is, uh, man, this is one of our new favorite sleds. Um, the Shredder RE and the Shredder DS are the mountain sleds from Lynx. Uh, the difference being the DS is deep snow. Uh, the RE is much more aggressive in the suspension department. Uh, big 46 millimeter shock shafts on the rear suspension. KYB piggyback shocks with external clickers, compression and rebound on the skis with big shock shafts there as well. And <clears throat> this, this thing is just an incredible uh, performance. So one of the big differences between last year's Lynx, the 22 Lynx Boondocker DS, uh, and the 23 Lynx Shredders, is they've gone to a 15 inch wide track rather than the 16 inch wide that they had last year and different from the 16 inch wide that the Skidoo Summits run. So this is an all new track, 15 wide, fiberglass rods run full width so it is not a flex edge track. Three inch lugs, this is the new style that BRP, uh, based on the similar track as the Skidoo in that it's lighter and more durable. They beefed up the track. I don't know, that's not really the right word because it's lighter, but they improved the track design just so that, that they wouldn't have any lug delamination problem. So the the Link Shredder does come in the, this is the Radian 2 chassis, which is comparable to the Gen 5 Skidoo chassis. Similar in a way, very different in others. Um, so they did they did the same thing they they brought the sides of the sled in half an inch on each side so three inches total so on the 22 links the running board came out to about here another inch and a half wide and the body the plastic came out quite a bit to match that too and when you're riding that uh, you do notice you know, you can feel, you notice the chain case on this side and the brake on the other side uh, more than you did when you had extra width on the running boards. Because with the extra width, your boot could be out a little farther and you weren't really contacting the chain case cover as much. But now, now with the narrower running board, you're rubbing right up against the chain case. You feel this edge as you transition your foot. Um, not a big deal, it's just something that you notice because there's not really any wiggle room here uh, with your boot. The edge here is pretty aggressive. It holds, it, it holds your boot in place and it tips your ankle inward, which forces your knee up against the side like a dirt bike, which is a, a, an improved riding position. So overall, that, that narrower board is a better design aside from the fact that it narrowed up the, the entire sled. So the front end on this, this is the 46 inch, or no, sorry, 36 inch front end. So wider than a Skidoo. Uh, they do, Lynx does have their own ski. So it's wider than a, a Skidoo ski and it has a more aggressive keel. And we get to the rear suspension, we'll talk about why that keel on this sled is more aggressive. So a couple little details on the links. They went with three of these lightweight headlights. So these these lights individually put out, um, I think it was 20% more light than the old headlight style did. So the Skidoo obviously has two of these and the links added a third. It's, it's split in the middle, so it's got a little diffuser in there. It's a little higher beam. Again, the KYB clicker shocks. So when you adjust these, and we we were running the front end, the ski shocks in the soft pressure, not soft position on compression, and it's really hard to describe. So that's that's your full range of adjustment right there, and it's three positions. So one, two, three. So we ran everything in the soft on the front, and then a little more damping on the back. Um, 
with the rear suspension. Let me tip this thing over. So the rear suspension is just this enormous, again, that's a 46 millimeter shock shaft. And that, that upper rear shock is just massive. There's so much volume inside there for oil. You don't get any fading and then you have the remote reservoir also with the external clicker. I should have tipped it on the other side. Uh, front shock, same thing, 46 millimeter shock shaft, just massive volume. And the damping on this is uh, designed to just absorb things like this thing just floats through bumps. Like we've kind of said that before about other performance sleds. There's nothing out there that we've ridden out of the box that feels as plush as this sled. The rear arm on this on this uh, suspension is really unique. So if you imagine like a Polaris or a traditional fixed rigid skid, you know, you have this rear scissor arm where everything is in the middle, comes down here, pivots, and then goes forward. But the arms are inside of the rails, so even on a fixed skid, on a rigid skid, you will still get some flex, torsionally. So on this link skid, because everything is mounted outside, so you got your drop brackets where your scissor arm mounts, and then your idler wheel is uh, floats, so it's a floating idler wheel which is pretty cool. And then the rear scissor arm is outside of the slide rail. So you, and then it's a fixed upper piece, one piece connected uh, with linkage on the top for the shock. And it's just, so, it's so rigid. And so all of your suspension motion directs the force into the shock. So you don't get any flex. So this thing is just incredible at bump absorption and handling and there's really nothing else out there like that that we've experienced even um, even in the aftermarket world. I haven't, we haven't felt the sled this plush and this really fun to ride in that crappy rough terrain as, as this thing. So it is a it's a distinctly different rear suspension than anything that you'll see on a Skidoo. So while they do share a lot of stuff in common, mainly the motor um, and the front part of the platform, everything else is kind of unique to Lynx. So again, the 850 Turbo R is the 180 horsepower turbo. Um, so on this particular sled, you get the, the Turbo R 180 horse matched with the short 3900 track. And it's just so fun. Such a fun sled. So you get the, uh, the Radian 2 platform and bodywork, which is a lot lighter than the 22 Lynx. You know, the 22 Lynx had the heavier hood and cowling and headlight and everything set up. So this has, this is kind of similar to the Gen 5 Skidoo with the Radian 2 platform. So it's all flat, easy to clear snow off of if anything builds up on there. You have a built-in glove department, compartment again. Uh, big air intakes, you know, your vent here for the turbo. And then this is really cool on this side, the oil access on this side. You just pull this thing forward, the whole thing comes off. So the oil reservoir, it has been redesigned to move closer to the engine, you know, so that they can make the body work slimmer. On the mag side, they changed the motor mount so that they could bring the muffler in closer to the engine to help narrow everything up. And then similar to the Skidoo Gen 5, there's no side panel here. This is just the clutch cover. So it just comes straight out. Yeah. Okay. That's your side panel, which is the clutch cover. Fully encased and closed clutch cover isolates the clutch heat from the rest of the motor compartment. Uh, or the engine heat from the clutch compartment. And then has all this ventilation here. So the clutch itself these fins on this side and on the other sheave on the back side uh, flow air through this clutch compartment and the air intake comes in here on the back of the clutch cover and then the exhaust comes out here and then down low right here by the foot so the way the way this is designed you have like full open access to the clutches it's really easy to 
changes the clickers, uh, do any clutch adjustments, change a belt. Um, really, probably the most open clutch access you can have out there. But yeah, the Shredder, Shredder RE. This is kind of the Andreas Bergmark edition. This thing is uh, really, really fun. Like, very different than the Shredder DS. Very, very different than any of the Skidoo Summits. Um, but by far the best the best suspension riding sled that we've ridden to date and that includes aftermarket race setups so this is if you're looking for something that's a, a very fun capable mountain sled but you want you want the best there is for suspension this is it